How's it going guys? A JT6 Mania, hey there, how's it going dude? Aussie man, good evening, how's it going man? What loaf are we going to have? We know we're going to bring one, it's just a question of what colour. Uh, half beard 65, I'm on air for once. <laughs> it's good to have you on board man. Right at the start as well, just picking the uh, vehicle. I think I'm going to go and do a little bit of messing around. I'm going to use various mods today. Do a couple of big missions and then probably uh, I might download some of the newer ones and have a look what's going on. Christian Holmes, oh yes, missed you yesterday. Glad to see you're on tonight, mate. I, To be honest, I didn't live stream yesterday. I'm going to move it to Saturday nights instead, or it's like technically Sunday morning now, but yeah, we'll call it Saturday night. Hunting U84, hey Mr. Wolf, how are you? Um, not too bad, cheers man. Feeling better than I was. I still reckon I'm a little bit ill, but nothing special. Like, I just, yeah, I'll try not to cough. <laughs> Or anything like that. Um, where are we? JT6 Mini, not bad view. Yeah, again, like, get in there, man. Cheers. Dan K. Cutter, what's up, Lone Wolf? How's it going, dude? Oh, yeah. It's the loaf's supposed to be picking. Take this one, sod it. What's he got on? Autonomous, it's giving him advanced. Turn that volume down a bit. It's about to deafen me. Saturdays are better. Yeah, I reckon, because then whatever time zone someone's in, like, it's got to be at some point within the weekend now, whereas, like, on Friday nights, there's two reasons. Like, the main one for me is my uh, brother sometimes comes down at, like, well, he'll come down a bit early and go around and see my parents and that, and then he'll pop round mine at, like, 10, 11 at night, and, uh, yeah, recently he's sort of been leaving... Uh, uh, half two when I've started the live stream, but it's just one of those things where he might end up getting down a bit late, so that's like the one <laughs> the one little bit of time that I could do with uh, having spare. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of a bit distracted. Anyway, uh, Bronson, howdy Mr. Lone Wolf, how's it going dude? Hunting U84, that's a good buddy miss you, I appreciate it man. Yeah, well, uh, me internet's alive and working, I'm still alive and working, so uh, yeah. Finally, it's been weird to be honest. I've, like I said, I missed last week's uh, live stream. Eric Happy, greetings from Seattle, Washington. How's it going, dude? Hope you don't mind the novel on the last video, but uh, one that JB P16 is crazy huge. Dragon 8 cement and uh, steel through Yukon. Oh, yeah, the P16 is a beast. I do like the, uh, the JBE P16. Yeah, right, at the minute I'm going to go and do this mountain top delivery, just grab some barrels from there and take them to somewhere in Mountain River, then do another mission and then it'll unlock the logging missions, which I may well do, but I just thought it's something different anyway, it's probably missions I didn't make a video on back in the day because I kind of completed quite a lot each day. Um, and yeah, it was an excuse to take the twice twin steer out, since I used the twin steer, was it yesterday? The normal one and I was a little bit like... Disappointed with it. it, didn't feel like the old classic twins there. We'll take the uh, lathe, of course. I need to get four oil barrels. So we've got enough room. Blue Lizard Gaming. Yo, bro, how's it going, dude? Right. The art of trying to drive while reading comments. Not sure I've mastered it, but we'll see. Disaster P78. Hey, Lone Wolf, how's it going, dude? Do you have a joining us for the old stream? Kenneth Russ, old snap. Lone Wolf on the screen. <laughs> We're back. Still going. It's always like awful that snow down. Not terrible, but it's like the first taste of a bit of a super snow patch, really. Blue Lizard Gaming, I'm good. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Cheers, mate. Well, again, feeling better than I was. Getting there. Still feel a little bit like it. Nothing special. Let's get a bit of daylight, proper daylight. And some of these, uh, I don't know, Arctic summers. Oh no, we're not in the Arctic, are really. Where is it? Alaska. That's the one. That's close enough. Probably have some pretty long summer nights. Away from in a good old time. Uh, oh yeah, I know where I'm going, sorry. Getting a bit distracted, do I need to go back a bit, possibly? Yeah, need to 
somewhere I can cross. I've got that crate, it does make me a little bit tall. Yeah, it should be good though. Yeah, like I said, I might try some uh, some of the newer mods that have appeared recently. But I'll have to, I assume, turn all these off. It's a bit of a pain in the ass with this whole memory, like, you've reached your full amount of memory. They're not going to let me go that way. So, I think this one is about the tallest one you're going to find. Train is not liking. Let's just see for the sake of the train. See if excessive force is the answer. Sometimes it is. Train is not happy. I'm not sure though. Oh, wait there. Oh, yes. What could go wrong? See them apples game. No, right, give me a load. So I'll keep pulling trees out until you give me the right one. Well that was good. We made it through there, we've lagged the game. I'm pretty happy with that. Engine sound of. Did that say is kick ass? That's good mate, do you play multiplayer? I've, not really to be honest, I went on it once ages ago to get a trophy because, uh, what was it, for lifting the trailer five metres in the air I'd already delivered my trailer so I went online and found somebody who had the trailer, did that and that's it, it's just between making videos and all the rest of it I don't really get loads of time per night to actually play the game like I said then I'm doing editing and so on so uh, I've not really got round to it, I will do it eventually, I assume after Phase 4 is released and everything calms down. I might, I may well uh, sort of look into it a bit more then. Dang, he was getting horse deprived. <laughs> you never uh, have too many horses. So you've got to keep a few around. Chris C7, hey, love your videos. I appreciate it, man. Uh, I can't tell why. I can just see, like, off the U comment button message, sorry man, I missed that one. It's looking like there is a good possibility that phase four will be out this week. Oh that's good. Uh, oh yeah we don't know what one. Yeah that's pretty cool. It's looking like it's gonna be a pretty big update as well. Seems to be like the biggest one they've done really. I've, I've heard we're getting four maps instead of two. Uh, I think there's gonna be five new vehicles. And, I don't know, that alone is uh, quite a lot of stuff. I think there's a few, like, other bits of art. I can't remember off the top of my head. I didn't get through it. But, yeah, all in all, it's uh, sounding pretty good. As long as the maps aren't too trollish. I mean, there are always mods to counter that, but I do also kind of... I've got my vanilla playthrough where I try as much as I can not to really uh, use mods and attempt it as the game kind of intended. But if they're just going to purposely make it ridiculously slow and boring, then yeah, that doesn't really interest me a hell of a lot. Right, so we want to go up there. I'd like to cut them along. Oh, that's not too bad. Easy peasy. To there. Fly across there somewhere and just up to there. Jobs are good on. Possibly go wrong. Devs haven't definitely kept their promises with regards to content. Um, I'm trying to think what they... The only thing that I've heard of that I can think of where they've like... That I know of anyway. I, didn't they have that Apache in one of the videos for like... Before the game came out and then obviously it ended up being a DLC trunk. So I think it's like... Fair is fair on that if they show it in a video as part of the season pass stuff and that should have been free. Um, they said a year's worth of content I think with the season pass. I mean it depends really and it's one of them where like 
it's been about right for me because I've been editing videos and stuff. Like I said, if I was not editing videos and just playing the game for the pure amount of time, then uh, yeah, I would have had time to spare between each phase. Bruce, from what I hear, is getting active suspension and Leaf is getting a new engine. Oh yeah, I have heard those things, which both the, the, uh, the Leaf engine I'll be interested in because personally, it doesn't really bother me. Top speed is never really why I drove the Leaf. It has a uh, just has an unusual amount of torque and stuff. Like, I think it was in yesterday's video or whatever when I was pushing a twin steer that was on its side. And uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it's just a neat little beast. That's what seems to be able to like, allow it to flip massive truck. So yeah, we'll see with the new engine. As long as it doesn't mess with the whole, like, that side of the characteristics, then hopefully it just zips up the gears a bit quicker, maybe a little bit of higher top speed. So uh, yeah, it'd be cool either way. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it's not a kind of a nothing thing and it actually does something. So I think we'd like wedge between the eyes rather than... I think the, uh, the old twin steer could handle it, but... We're going through the gap. It's not like a nutty, what are we hitting on? try out a new Khan Sentinel you get with the DLC. Uh, oh, sorry, I'll just uh, collect that mission. I've already got it. Uh, Sentinel. Oh, is that the one that's like the Mudrunner that's the D535 thing? If so, yeah, but that's the one I'm looking forward to the most out of the new vehicles. I'll be trying all of them, obviously, making videos on them, etc. But yeah, that's the one I'm definitely looking forward to. So overall, it's sounding like a pretty good phase, I reckon. There'll be plenty of content. Um, yeah, that new truck, like I said, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, new loaf engine, Bruce, active suspension. I've heard it doesn't make the world a difference, but even if it adds a little bit of lift to his front chin, that kind of, like, anything to reduce that is uh, sort of good, really, because that's about Bruce's only remaining weakness, is it's got a bit of a low-hanging chin. What does Season 2 come with, I wonder? Season 2? Uh, oh yeah, I don't know, Season 2. I don't even know if they're doing a Season 2. They may well do though, it wouldn't surprise me. There's probably, I would have thought, still enough interest in the game for them to do another one. Or at least, uh, yeah, well yeah, they, like you say, uh, Wreckfest, that's got two season passes. You may want to lower engine sounds volume on settings, it's a little difficult to hear. No worries dude, I'll, uh, I'll, tell, I'll move my microphone a little bit as well. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go and lower that. I wish the Dolphin would get a bigger fuel tank. Yeah, true. Well, yeah, I, I must admit, I, I mean, I wouldn't say no to it, obviously. But... Considering how quick it is and everything, I can still, I don't know, I tend to get a lot of use out of the 200 litres. I obviously take a loaf as well, just to, um, yeah, like extra, oh no, I hate it when I do this. Well, I blame the game, because when you uh, press, like, hold down L1, you then press square or whatever to activate, like, your all-wheel drive. When you're on that gateway, even though you're holding L1 down, I pressed L1 and then square to put my all-wheel drive on and it just made me go back through the gateway which is a pain in the ass and uh, yeah I think that's a bug that's been in the game for like the last year that they haven't haven't ever got around to sorting need to fix the gearboxes too yeah big time like say that twin steer uh, yesterday yeah it just wasn't the same back again. That's the biggest thing I hope they overall fix for phase four. Because then even like that D535, it's going to feel just not as good as we would have had it a month or two ago. 
So I hope they do something about that. And I've got a feeling though, I don't know if they will. I don't know. I think they knowingly broke it, so to speak, to kind of make their fine tune more relevant. I don't think it was an accident, because they have a tendency in this game to kind of... I don't know, they have done s stuff a bit like that in the past, I reckon. Right, forget all-wheel drive. For now, anyway. Just get off that bloody thing. I'll turn the uh, volume down in a second. Uh, oh no, settings, that's the one. Shall I just turn the master volume down? Let's try that. Let's go to 75. Let us know, please, if uh, if that's any... any better. That should just generally quiet everything down. Uh, oh yeah, I think we're nearly there now. For this one, anyway. Hey, it's Mr. Lone Wolf. So excited to be here. I appreciate you, dude. Also, has anyone noticed any difference in the cranes? I did the Fallen Titan missions and crane had no, uh, had no problems. Don't know if the trees were... I've no, I've, For me, personally, the cranes have felt weaker in the last week or two. Maybe three weeks. I literally couldn't lift a loaf in that, um, some of those like classified or invasion mission or whatever it was. On Greenwood's River. I couldn't even lift a loaf up with... Yeah, it was the big crane, wasn't it? It's like, that's ridiculous. I'm trying to... I'm trying to fat shame my loaf, that's what it was doing. It's just a meat loaf, that's all. Um, right, I had to do that mission so I could unlock... something to do with a lumber mill, I believe. That'll be the one. And that's all just zipping around here. So, well, we're already in the place. Where have I got to drop them off? Happy days. I'm assuming, yeah, I wouldn't have built that. It doesn't matter. Right, so. Yeah, we're good. Just a bit of daylight again. Let's see how the turning circle is on this, actually. I assume, like, it's not going to be amazing compared to normal trucks, but... It's going to be a three-point turn, and Lowe's just going to have to ride it out. But I think it was a five-point turn in the normal truck. So that's not bad. Oh yeah, I've got a retrack on the way. I thought for a second then I didn't. Oh my god, thank god you are back to Friday's... With no lone wolf, made me sad. <laughs> Old man. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, we're gonna uh, move it to Saturdays, but I'm back. The internet's all good. That's not not gone out since the other weekend. So, uh, yeah, I'll know. I'm gonna deliver some stuff for I grab more fuel. But yeah, it's good to be back. I like doing the live streams. It'd be nice to uh, do them. Yeah, when phase four does come out. I don't know whether I might even live stream the exploration of the map. I'm not 100% sure yet, so don't, don't, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't bank on it, but we'll see. So we'll go this way. Season 4, going to have medium additions for most trucks, oh, sorry, medium add-ons for most trucks. The more the merrier, to be honest. This is the time, if anything, where they just need to pretty much dump everything they've got, like, give us everything, make everything as unlocked and free and, like, you can cross it over between trucks. It's now's the time when they need to, like, let various vehicles have chained that haven't until now. Stuff like the Tatrin, for example. Tegan Griswold, hey bro, uh, what's your favourite truck that is coming in Phase 4? So far mine is the new 8x8. Yeah, I assume we're all thinking about the same thing. I've got a feeling that's everybody's favourite that's coming out. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called. Someone just said, was it the Sentinel? But yeah, um, I know it is like the D535 or whatever from uh, Mudrunner. But whatever, that's definitely the one I'm looking to, looking forward to the most. Maps-wise, I've not. I've heard they're snowy maps. I've heard it might be a bit like Imandra 2.0, but I've not seen any footage or anything. Like, I try to avoid it until it's 
came out just so kind of I react to it naturally and I don't already know what's going on or what to watch out for or anything. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to it. I've pretty much done everything now on Greenwoods and that uh, Black Badger Lake. But it's worked out about nicely with the timing. Where are we? So... Where's my mission? That's the one. Metal beams. Easy. I'll leave the lake there for a second. So we'll be back. Bit of drifting. See, I, like I said, I get nervous with the twice twin steer at first. Thinking it's going to tip, but it just doesn't. Or not to a worrying degree. It's the uh, vanilla twin steer that's kind of got me on edge with that. I'm just glad you're all back. I like your gameplay and the stories of Dave. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, I've got it. There is a story of Dave. I'll tell it in a minute. There was that, that other half to the one I told you the other week. Phase 4 is the last edition, correct? I believe so, or certainly for this season pass, but I don't know if that means it's, like, the last extra content ever. Like, they, they might do a season 2, or they might just do, like, maybe instead of a full season, there may be just little individual sort of map packs or something as like a yeah like a, an extra or whatever I honestly have no idea I mean to me the fact that they released that Apache and the Western Star 49X I don't know it doesn't seem like a lot to release over a year a separate DLC and they obviously took a bit of flack for it and they were pretty crappy average trucks, so it makes me wonder, were they just like test beds to officially let everyone know like, yeah, we are doing DLC? Are they kind of saving a load of stuff for after uh, after Phase 4, so like they don't have to include it in the Season Pass? And I've got a feeling that might be the case, so we may see more individual trucks as well that are like offered as separate things. The devs are talking about staying with the game. Yeah, that's good. I mean, to be fair, I think they uh, they could squeeze a bit more out of it. That's definitely what she said. Yeah, I, I just think they could. They've uh, they've got everything like set up this far. They may as well. It can't be that much worse to make a few extra maps and stuff. I'd certainly like to have more. Um, I don't know, like a few more relaxed maps again. I'm just gonna go and get fuel from uh Small pipe. Oh, I'm gonna have to go over there anyway. Small pipes are double size, aren't they? In fuel, so we might as well go and get both of them together. Fair enough. Um, meaning more content, yeah. Well, it's always good news. My bad load. All good. He's a professional. Just inspecting my rear dip. That's what, a, what any good horse would do. I'm just going to spin him around because I know the winch is going to be a tosser. And it'll only up on the side winch. That just, oh no, good I see what you mean about the Yukon maps. Vicious terrain grade. Yeah, exactly. They're just a bit. It looked like a nice map, and I thought, oh, I'm going to enjoy this, and then... It's got quite a nice blend of, like, road patches, but then a lot of mud patches, which I don't mind, and all the rest of it, but then, yeah, they just dialed the mud up a bit too keenly, and the snow, and it's... It's cool, but it's one of those maps I just wouldn't want to stay on long-term. Like I said, st maps like Michigan and that I enjoy going back to. Uh, Black River, stuff like that, Smithville Dam, so... This way anyway. um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they just added a bit more of a relaxed map, even if that means it's going to be easy. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just enjoy kind of driving around, enjoying the scenery and whatever.
It costs us a lot of repair points, but it was worth it. Waste on a good old time. Oh yeah, fuel. Oh no, because we're going to start the place anyway. Actually, before I do, is there an easy path? No, I'll tell you what, we will get through from here. Keep the winch nice and hoovered in on the loaf, and you just find the spin ground behind you. Wish the trailers would do that. Match maps. <laughs> yes, I agree, but I am the only one that not ice as a dolphin there. Oh, notice it. Sorry, it splits the word. <laughs> you know, seems tippier and generally more shy. Eh, I don't know. Tippier, I've not really noticed. I was kind of ragging it around in uh, Greenwoods yesterday or the day before. I do think the gearbox situation has felt like it's got it a bit. I don't think it's the worst affected out of them. But yeah, overall, I think like they need to fix that. They've made every truck feel a little bit worse. I'm not even sure. It might even carry over to these mods. If these mods are using um, essentially like the same version of gearbox and if they've had to update that gearbox to like the latest game gearbox, then it yeah it may even be uh, having an effect on the mods as well. The life is having fun. He is. He is a professional. In this situation, he's not really a rescue life because I'm pretty sure this has got an autonomous winch anyway. I'm just more bringing him for the roof rack more than anything. Well, I'm of course for the good times. But yeah, I don't think he's going to need to uh, actually rescue me in this situation, so I don't have to worry about keeping him alive. <laughs> Watching the JB P16 carry worst cargo and worst trailer, just able to take it across the map. Squeeze drag wins three five. Is uh, it's definitely a good one. Medium mode, and small, don't we? Yes. Wow, this is going a lot easier than I remember when I first did these bloody missions. The loaf doesn't even try and trip me over when I turn around. What about that horse? He knows his job. Fox CRF 450 rider. Wait, it's Saturday. Yeah, I've, I've changed the uh, streaming days to like Saturday night now instead of Friday. Just it works a bit better for me and. It's also got to be the weekend, kind of, for everybody, no matter where you are. Oh yeah, I remember bringing that P12. That P12, let's just see quickly. Oh, I couldn't go forwards, and I'm pretty sure I couldn't go backwards. I'm not going to sit here trying to get it out, but I'm just saying, that's how terrible the P12 is. I drove down this hill, got stuck there on practically nothing, and that's it. You now it's free range, P12. And stay there, because I ain't going to need it. Well, saying that, well, not P12, I probably should have just gone up the other side. Get my what to do. Because I've not built this bridge over the top yet. Run that trailer out of the way. Again, why does the daylight fade so quick? That's what I mean. They give us like, I don't know, Arctic winter sized days. I want an Arctic summer sized day where it's like daylight for 18 hours or something. Dude, where's your bumper? <laughs> it's all good. Where we're going, we don't need bumpers. The loaf is now my bumper. It's holding bumper for the both of us. Nice little drift there. 
a bit like I'll turn on and there is some uh, where the gateway is. I knew she was the one when I went down on her <laughs> and didn't pass out. I might have missed half of that conversation but she sounds like a keeper. P12 in the truck max pack will pull the heavy wrecker through the knot hole. <laughs> Yeah, I assume the uh, there is that. Is it the blue line P12? I've heard that's certainly a big improvement as well. The P12 is just one of the most. It's sort of sitting down there with the Derry 4520, really. I probably, I think I expected more from the Derry, so that kind of hurts more, but it's still terrible. And again, I'm surprised they've not addressed that in the last year. I'm still got my money on like they had some kind of words with uh, Oshkosh and ended up making them a little bit naff. Snowrun addict. Uh, hello, Mr. Lone Wolf. How's it going, dude? Well, these missions would be easy. 3,300. Like, if that was on Greenwoods River, that probably would have been like a 20 grand mission or something. At least the suspension is raised. <laughs> because of what you said the other week, it stuck in my head when I was clicking on it tonight, and I literally changed it from active to high because I knew I'd just not do anything with it until it's too late. Christian Holmes, it is super depressing how many trucks are garbage in the vanilla game. Yeah, especially since that, um, what do you call it, the like gearbox situation. That's like, put the icing on the cake. That's why for Greenwoods River, I, I, or, sorry, that phase three in general, I've not really been, um, I've just been sticking to the same few trucks. Like, the Dolphin's been out a lot, but... I still think, like, I feel like the Dolphin still goes pretty well. I, st I do agree. I think it's had the edge taken off it since, say, a couple of months ago. But compared to, like, yeah, that normal twin steer I drove felt like it had been hit a lot harder. Uh, where are these logging missions? I wanted to go and do a long logging mission because I like the, uh, the fact that the twice twin steer can hold long logs. It's a long way to the top, yeah, so what else is there? Is there anything with just logs? I mean, just long logs even. <laughs> That's solid. Right, life. You stand guard. I'll be back. Why is that a garage? No. I wish you could change that. I'd like to go to Northport Garage. Oh well, I'm gonna have to do it. I'll be back, loaf. Tires need st snow chains. Yeah, well, they certainly, like I said, should open up, like, make sure every truck has snow chains in one form or the other. The other, the mud chains for me are definitely the best. If I can't get mud chains on a truck, well, I don't know, because then if I can't get mud chains, that usually means you can't get muds. So I probably do actually leave chained on pretty much everything. I've just found in general, I mean, I still get this question now, and it's fair enough, because I know the stats say that mud tyres are better, and I, again, I've never denied that I'm sure in certain situations maybe they are, but I've just never had a problem getting anywhere with the, uh, the chained, so it's just never been an issue. And I prefer that, yeah, they work better on, obviously, the icy maps and stuff. And uh, again, with that tyre testing, they seem to rip through the mud better and get better times on that container delivery thing. But yeah, certain stuff like the Tatrin obviously is, if I was driving the Tatrin here now or on the roads or whatever, it'd be slipping all over the place. Uh, we need two lots along, well, I'm going to attempt. I don't know, the other twin steers still in Zimnagorsk. Oh, we'll buy one. When you got glitch money, it doesn't really matter. Oh no, that's the vanilla one.
Yeah, it's handy having the old glitch money. That must, must be what it's like being born as like a billionaire's son. You just that's it, you're born. You have unlimited money and you can buy whatever you like. No, let's actually put the. Uh, oh, has it already got it on? What a beast. <laughs> oh, is that. Yeah, is that, that must be what he was on about, as in. <laughs> put it like so it's already on it. I appreciate it. <laughs> I can't miss it now. I've got no excuses now. Aero Gaming. So, hello, my friend. I read that much and it jumped up. Sorry, man, but yeah. How's it going, dude? Tegan Griswold. Hate to go, but in a little bit, I gotta go. No, that's cool, man. I appreciate you joining us for the old stream, and uh, yeah. It'll be on YouTube afterwards if you want to catch the rest of it. If not, there's always next time. Uh, I never knew that the twin steer could have long log things. Yeah, well, it's the twice twin steer, so it's the modded version. So yeah, it's not the uh, just the normal one. Which again, they've missed like. I mean, overall, thank God they let modders just. Uh, you know, uh, at least they actually added mods just for us console people and all the rest of it because that was always missing f uh, from Mudrunner for console players. Because yeah, a lot of the modders just seem to I don't want to sound harsh to the devs but like put more effort into the thought of what you're putting on your truck and it's like it's a little bit I was thinking about it the other day with like oh yeah I've already done that uh, like Call of Duty games or whatever you know when like they used to you'd have various missions and then you'd get one little mission where like oh crap I do need to put those long log things on and then you'll have a mission where you get like a really good mission you're flying an AC-130 gunship or whatever they're called and you're just shooting everybody on the floor and you can't lose and it was like they were always enjoyable missions but throughout like a 12 20 hour campaign or whatever there'd be like a little 5-10 minute go of it and that's it it's like why do they always I don't know get stingy on the good bit of the game and it's a little bit I know it's probably going off track a bit but sort of in this game, stuff like this is really cool. The fact that you can have long log things. But it's took a modder to do it. And the game people haven't. And it's like, I don't know why, because you've built the game. And yeah, I think modders understand the concept of, like, fun still. Oh, no. I bet I'm, yeah, I'm in White Valley. Oh, we could get long logs from there. Will it let me? If there was a type. Oh, I can. And then I could drive... yes, I don't have to do that then. In fact, let's put a few markers down, because I don't usually do this route. I just need to get back to the road. Pretty much know where I am from there. Mountain River. That's where I think we want to go. It's a long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll, let's go. Mr. Wolf, have you ever heard of Rosie the Shark? Uh, does ring a bell, and I don't know why. I must have seen it on like a YouTube video or something. Well, I think I don't know. That rings a bell to me, Rosie the Shark. Not only does it ring a bell, I feel like I only heard it like a month or so ago. But no, I, I couldn't, like, if this was a who wants to be a millionaire question. <laughs> I don't know. But it does sound uh, slightly familiar. Again, more daylight. Galaxy Kid Kid, that's OP. What's OP? log stations had both sets of logs. Yeah, I do, to be honest. It's not the end of the world, but I know what you mean. I don't know why they're loading it. Well, why they're trying to load in like that. Got that winch off. Let's see if that makes any difference. Wait, looks 
pretty cool like that anyway, to be honest. Oh, yes. Well, I, I honestly don't know why it's doing that, because it definitely was working uh, last week. But I'm not going to lie, I actually kind of like it like that anyway, so. Win win. See, that's weird. Why is that happening? The two twice twin stairs. Oh, do go back to the uh, to the garage. What for the log thing? Well, it's like, I kind of like the look of it. I'm not gonna lie. Might just go for it like this, you know. Whichever log uh, bunk you cook first. Ah. I tell you, what, I'm gonna go for it like this. But I get what you mean. Yeah, that may. I did. I did as well on one of them. I bought like the bottom one first, and then went to the top one. That's cool though, man. To be honest, it's actually quite light that you can uh, choose either way. We're going for it. Uh oh. Let's just change that one. It's going to be quicker. That even opens up possibilities for, like, what cargo. We had some flat enough cargo. I mean, that's a pretty good ramp going on there. we have to investigate this further. Yeah, no, cheers for the info, man. I, uh, I'm going to go for it. Probably would be better to make the other truck the lead vehicle, but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> That's fun though. Exactly. It's got to be attempted. <laughs> I like to try random stuff in this game. That's pretty cool though. So, could I only equip one on the back? And then... Like, have other stuff at the front. Or do I have to equip both of them? Maybe. I don't know. I'll test it out later. I won't test it now. As we're on the, uh, the live stream. But yeah. I'll have to look into that. I quite like it though, to be honest. I'll keep it on. Yes. I think I'm a loaf. Can't even drift as you go around the corner. That probably worked out as like best case scenario, to be honest. opens up a lot of possibilities. You can try medium logs on deck and uh, long logs out the back, but the game gets mad. Uh oh. Good job this thing's good at not tipping, because that would have been, oh no, tree stumps. Or we might be good. That would have been game over for the, uh, the normal one. What the hell? Oh, I died. See ya. We'll be back. So yeah, medium and long. That's sounding even better. After I've done this mission, I'll uh, I could recover back to White Valley and we'll, we'll quickly go and try. Oh, then again, I'll tell you, I'll wait because if, if it goes mad, I don't want to crash the uh, the live stream and <laughs> kind of end it again. But I'm definitely going to be testing some of this stuff out because I'm liking the sound of it. Are you on PC but using controller? No, I'm just on a PS4, like yeah, console. Still not built this bridge. One day. One day the townsfolk will get what they've been asking for. But today is not that day. Drive the path like what? Can't hear you. Dragon logs. Make sure the check cleared though. Log train through the bush. Exactly. That's the only way to go. That's the only way she knows. Gotta love that country music at the fuel station, <laughs> true. I've parked the truck there before and just kind of listened to it for a bit. It's not the worst, it's better than hold music, I'll give it that. High gear going. Oh, I've got a chain on. I'm 
sure one of my twin, twice twin stairs has got. Uh, yeah, the mugs. Oh yeah, this is a uh, like it. Shame we lost the other one, but oh well. So they even drift as I drift. Uh, then how do you have so much mods? I can only have two enabled. It depends which ones you choose. Uh, long story short, I've noticed that Fox, is it CRF 450 Rider, those mods, I can turn all of them on, and uh, JBE mods. Both of those two, I think I've turned just about every mod of each one. Um, other mods, like the Heavy Wrecker, that seems to eat a decent chunk. I've noticed, for me personally, it's the trailer packs. Like some of the new trailer packs I wanted to try, but I can literally use the trailer pack and that's it. And to be honest, I've not got many amazing vehicles in this playthrough. Except for mods, I mean, like I've not really put any effort into like the vanilla in-game trucks, so yeah, that's why I've not really done uh, any videos on them yet. But yeah, the, the memory situation is a pain in the ass. If it worked before, I don't really see why they can't just lift the limit. I don't know what they're achieving with it. The only thing I was thinking is maybe they were getting like loads of complaints of computers crashing, etc. So they've tried to put a limit on everyone just to reduce that, but still. Like mine was working fine, so I'd rather find out the hard way that it sort of crashes and goes a bit mental. Are you excited for the upcoming battlefield? Do you, I, I didn't see the uh, the top of your question there. Sorry, dude. That heavy wrecker. Uh, if you have that installed, it's damn near impossible. I play on PC. Is that for the like the memory wise? The uh, it won't let me choose the heavy wrecker and a lot else. But yeah, like I said, for me personally, I mean, I've got the the twice twin steer and the uh, the iceberg. I think I've got the. Called the Pay Star and the Western Star turned on, and then yeah, various JBE ones. Like I said, I think the Heavy Wrecker is the only big sort of draining one for me. I did have to turn a few off, I had to turn that ET one off. I think as well, actually, I can't at the minute, I've got enough mods to where I can't turn uh, the JBE John. Back life. Right. Just gotta go and try some things. He asked what other games you play, Wreckfest is one. Oh right, um yeah, Wreckfest is about the only one I've been playing really at the minute, other than this. I did used to play Call of Duty, but to be honest, since they with the last game or Modern Warfare remastered or whatever, and then Uh, what's it called? This new latest one, like that. It's skill-based matchmaking, and so I assume then, yeah. If I take those off and then add the front one first, then the back one. But we've got to know, haven't we? Better idea. What do we need? Two medium logs and one long. This could be doable in one run with one truck. This would make the uh, some of the logger missions a lot more fun when you just ram as much on as you possibly can. It's my kind of trucking. Don't worry about weight limits when you get it done in one run. I remember when me and my brother had a, like a ton of, I can't remember, some building resource in the back of an old Skoda Valencia. God damn, that thing was absolutely on its dick. But again, <laughs> it was like two trips, 
and the suspension will not be harmed or one trip. And it might die, but if any Skoda Valencia <laughs> wasn't the, uh, the most sought after of vehicles. I have 18 mods running on Xbox One. Yeah, I've heard like a few people said on Xbox there have been like pretty good time with the mods. Again, I think it depends which ones you've got. I'm trying to think how many I've got on. I've got to, I'd say at least 10, but again, I've got a feeling if I turn the heavy wrecker off, I could probably add quite a lot of other stuff. I have 52 mods enabled. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's a lot of mods. Oh, what? And it ruins it because it's only long logs from here. What a wanker. Oh, at least I haven't got a thousand trailers to scroll through before I get to the garage. Uh, I think it also has to do with how many games you have installed on your hard drive, maybe. Possibly. I honestly don't know. I, I'm i really not clued up when it comes to all this RAM sp I thought like the space was the space that it says how many megabytes we've got left, and then, yeah, someone had to explain to me that it's like RAM space, and it just it, it means nothing to me other than a message pops up, and it's like, God damn it. <laughs> That's as far as I can go with it. Reminds me of like when Windows computers used to pop up back in the day saying like you've performed an illegal action and it's like uh, no, you've performed an illegal action. I'm not physically capable. Plus pressing keys on a keyboard couldn't possibly be illegal so that computer's trying to blame shit on me. It helps to... I don't know why I'm speaking like a... Uh, like I've been stung in the tongue with a bee or something. Helps to delete all mods and download again, starting with maps. No, it's time consuming, but I can do like Wrecker and D&D and &D trucks. Yeah, true, that's uh, probably worth giving a go as well for people who are struggling to get more on there. Like I say, for me personally, yeah, it's been the trailer packs. That, well, again, apart from the, uh, like the Foxes trailer pack, that's always been fine. I've got that on now. But those are the newer ones, with like the goosenecks and all the rest of it. For whatever reason, they just, yeah, they're not liking it when I try and turn them on. I have a game in PC, funny thing is my Series X loads faster. <laughs> right, we're at North, ba uh, North Port, what did I call it? North Valley. That's a new one. Copyright. Yeah, I'm going to go and see. I mean, in case you haven't worked it out, apparently, if I can have long logs hanging off the back, medium logs, and then medium logs, and then in theory, like next time, have the long logs on another twin stair, and I could have done this mission in one. Who needs English though? Isn't gibberish our main language in 2021? <laughs> exactly. It's a bit of everything. Apparently, eventually, they say the world will, uh, will end up speaking something called Pan English, where it's going to be mostly English, because I think that is like the most popular spoken language on the planet. Plus, America and England speak English, and we make like a lot of film, like you obviously make the most like Hollywood and all the rest of it so yeah I think English is having like the biggest effect but there's going to be various like everything thrown in various Chinese phrases and all just different things all over the place but again I'm still just trying to master basic English so I'm worried about learning Mandarin or something do you remember the annoying paperclip on Windows yeah I do when he used to poke the screen and start judging you it's like who the fuck who does this paper think he is? Start tapping the screen and giving me shit. I've got a sea of trailers to get through. Makes life a lot easier. Oh, that super smooth, doesn't it? Just, uh, to be fair, this really wasn't a good way to try and enter this uh, 
logging station, there's probably tree stumps. Not too many. But to be honest, I do kind of want to loop around. So. Gibberish good enough for creepy Joan. <laughs> exactly. Barely gibberish. It's a whole new super gibberish. Playing the original Doom on Windows. Who remembers that? I believe that was the first game I possibly ever played was yeah Doom the original Doom on my uh, yeah my real dad's computer and then Tomb Raider I think he had that as well and yeah and then I got uh, the I think it's Sega Mega Drive shortly after that well he got it for me. It's not liking it, it's not letting me have it at the minute. Well, I'll still take the long ones. Don't mind if I do. I'll play around with that later though. That's what she said. That'll do. It's worse when it starts the winch thing behind me, behind the screen, it's like. How did you figure that one would be be the first choice? Uh, right, so we've got to zip up to there again. Do a bit of a normal way. Yeah. That'll do. Highly detailed drawing. Uh, oh yeah, going back out. Oh yeah, there's my trailer right abandoned the other day as well. Post. I'm trying to go wide though, because... What do you think is the most gut gutless truck in the game, P12 or the Derry? It's a tough one to be honest. I'm going to say the Derry, but P12 is definitely lacking. The game gets real mad and confused with two cargo types at the same time. To be honest, it's probably best because, like I said, I'd probably end up <laughs> making the uh, my PS4 cry out in pain. Don't forget the medium log glitch still works. Oh yeah, true. So yeah, it might let me just sort that anyway. Yeah, cheers man. Appreciate the uh, reminder. Still, this is pretty good. I'm having a good time. <laughs> of course it'd help if I paid attention to where I'm steering, but got time for things like attention spans. Doesn't the yellow log carrier look a bit too big on some of the trucks? Uh, I'd say no, just because I did see a picture of a truck the other day. And if you imagine that log carrier and we're looking from the front, it had wooden things on it that probably went about as high as those telegraph wires and about as wide as to the telegraph pole and that tree. Like, it made the truck look, I don't know, like eight times bigger than or more like surface area on the front. So, probably, I think it was somewhere like in India they were doing that, which, if you ain't got regulations, why not? Make hay while the sun shines, and they were. They were doing like a whole year's delivery in one trip, I think. So yeah, for me personally, like, just ram it all on. <laughs> the more you can fit, the better. And how well the uh, the medium trailer does. In a way, I think those logs are sort of possibly helping it though. I'd appreciate it if it was like attached to the back of me instead of 20 foot away, that'd probably help as well, but fun in that. I wish they would have added a Mac R series and Dodge Bighorn semi to the game. Yeah, true, there's a lot more um, 
brands and things that I'm surprised they didn't add at some point. Is it, uh, what's the other one? Is it pronounced Petabilt or something? And yeah, like you say, Kenworth. Uh, then again, I think, um, isn't it like Euro Truck Simulator and I believe there's an American Truck Simulator one as well. They might have like the, the sort of copyright dibs to uh, some of the brands by now. I'm not sure though, I don't really know how all that works either. This game difficulty got nothing in high. What's Hypicker's Guide to the Galaxy? Oh, is it Hitchhikers? Oh, sorry, I missed the rest of that. <laughs> I was like, what? Is that some weird name of a manual? Dodge Bighorn is actually a super rare truck. And it's Petabilt. <laughs> It'd be cool to see stuff like that in here, though. Again, the more the merrier. I was watching a video on YouTube the other week. Some... Was it the Arctic or the Antarctic? But there was like some massive Mack trucks that were built. And there was like a little convoy of them trying to get across. I don't know, I'll just go this way. Um, yeah, trying to get across. Again, I can't remember if it was the Arctic or the Antarctic. But it was pretty cool. There was some absolute beasts. Like, they're more sort of sized like the P12. Uh, sorry, the P16. Peter built. Is it pronounced Peter Bilt? Uh, to be honest, I've heard people say it both ways. I've heard Peter Bilt and Peter Bilt, so I generally don't know. We don't really have them over here. I've never heard of one being over here. I'm sure somebody has got one, but yeah, it's not really a, a brand name or whatever that ever really gets said. But I did watch a video again. It was a few months ago that it was a Peter Bilt or Peter Bilt or whatever that. I think someone tried to race it in like a 4x4 truck and the, the uh, yeah the Petabilt thing or whatever absolutely took off the fly. Obviously I had no load on it. My brother's got a, uh, an Arctic lorry. Uh, what was it? The Volvo 550 or something? So I think it's 550 horsepower and obviously when you've got no tow and no trailer or anything that's like that's a lot of horses for just a tractor unit. Oh don't do it. It did it. How far are we? Okay, I'm gonna attempt. Got a plan. We'll take that. We need the seismic thing, but need something else though. No, oh, don't do this. It's gonna make me scroll. Phrase, we're good. Put some smaller tyres on him. I don't know if I need to put the smaller tyres on to be fair, but I'm gonna. Have a nice low loaf. Riding. We need all these horses, lots of freight, and very open roads. Sure, it would uh, would be nice. Western Star luxury brand of Kenworth. Oh, are they? It's all a bit sort of mixed up nowadays. It's like with a lot of. Uh, say English cars but they're sort of like some are owned by Americans and all over the place now. Not like it used to be. Although to be fair I think it's that the Germans own Rolls Royce. I'm not gonna lie. If I was gonna spend like three hundred grand on a Rolls Royce, I probably would rather a German built it than 
like a bunch of people from the Midlands They'll probably go on strike halfway through. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. The uh, Germans do know how to build their stuff. Good job we know how to shoot it out the sky, but... It's just another story, that one. So, if you hear some clicking, I'm just going to mute my mic, because I need to have the big old... Special sipping coffee, slapping rocks out of the way. It's going well. But when you try and read the comments, it's not Lexus, look through brand Toyota. <laughs> True, I kind of know what you mean with that. But to be fair, like, I'm, I kind of. I know a few people that have had Lexuses and they've lasted very well and all the rest of it, so I kind of respect all that side of it. Um, but yeah, the Lexus LFA. I'd have that one if I could. V10. One of the nicest sounding production cars ever, I would say. This loaf probably ain't gonna like the snow. Well, it ain't like any ice either. Yeah, the snow's not gonna be good. Little tyres and the lower suspension. Gonna have to give them a nudge. We can get them logs back on. That's why I needed, wanted like a bit of a lower, lower sitting loaf. Just gonna get that one on, but it's not like it needs to. One on. Ooh, don't know who that one is. That one might be though. Run this some bitch. Right. Well, it's not going well. To be honest, I think it's probably worse lowering the suspension. Yeah, that's not going to work. Abandoned mission. Right, I'll deliver these logs and then I'm gonna uh, we'll go and have a look at some of these new scouts that added recently. That's what she said. She certainly did. Should have brought the electric dairy instead. True. You can always uh, go and have a little play around with that afterwards. So it's definitely better than uh, yeah than the normal one. Larry Plague's Hummer President. President who needs a crane when a loaf is around. Exactly. Again, to be honest, I could sit there and mess around and I would eventually get them loaves uh, on and <laughs> logs on. But I don't know if that's in two minutes' time or 20 minutes' time, so I won't sit there trying to attempt that. But I've left it all there though, so in my own time I'll, uh, I'll probably go back. Give it a go. 
That's why something like, I suppose, in that situation, the, uh, the normal wrecker, the, like the snow plow, would be pretty handy, because that would definitely scoop the logs. Just to be able to bump them up onto that trailer. But most of the time, you can knock the logs back onto the trailer a lot easier, I think, there as well. The, uh, the logs were just kind of sunk into the snow and everything a bit too far. The trailer wasn't, like, quite as, as bad. Dragon ye old wood. It's uh, I quite like to be honest. This is, this is how I'd do it. <laughs> Save some room. I've got a feeling I've seen something where they do drag logs. Well, it goes for all the gateways fine as well, which is uh, pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm up this one. Uh, think about it. I don't think it was going to tip them, but... I was waiting to find out. P12. Should be a shame. This thing just skips along through there like it's nothing. Ricky Bobby, uh, sorry I'm late. I was trying to get myself a life. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Not a problem. Bronson, uh, the big moose is very hard to beat uh, for scouting, and you don't have to leave half your fleet at home to use it. That's pretty good, I'll have a look. I'm, uh, I can't remember if I've downloaded that one. I think I downloaded a few of the new ones earlier. Uh, Mark Grow, there's Derry Mud truck mod with extra large wheels. Is that on that, um, is it like the truck max, max pack or something maybe? Well, yeah, I might have to experiment a bit, but like I said, if I could have got medium logs on that carrier, the long logs like this, and that trailer didn't tip, it'd be a good little haul to take with one, uh, one truck. And of course, you could pack a loaf on the logs. Pack a few. That will, of course, be, in, be getting tried as well. That's P78. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there is a modded loaf in the Scout Max pack. Yeah, I've heard there is. I think it's got bigger tyres or something. Again, I will have to uh, try that at some point. I think the votes on it are getting a bit high now. I kind of get a bit wary unless they're kind of in the very high 80s to 90s, like the upvote rate. But I think that one is uh, climbing. Well, yeah, we won't bother with the, uh, the medium for now. Got the honk of the horn, say hello to life. So if I go back to the menu, then we'll have a quick look at some uh, some mods. Uh, yeah, same guy that did the Max Scouts. Yeah, so I've not heard if that Derry is any good, though, with the big wheels or anything. I'd probably need uh, a lot more power on top of... I was seeing, yeah, this was like, sort of why I wanted to look at the menu, it reminded me. Um, I assume this thing's been added pretty recently. We might have had it in the game before, but then it went missing. Obviously it's Frog's truck, but it's not from Frog, it's, uh, in, is it Invalid Redneck? Um, yeah. So I assume, like, Frog's ban is, uh, is sticking. To the point where he's kind of having to get other people to upload them. So it won't let me turn that one on. Is it Big Moose? What? 740 megabytes. It's going to take quite a while to download. Why is my channel just. Hang on a sec. 
TV literally just changed from HD1 to HD3. Uh, yeah, I might have to turn some of these off. What's that one? It's not as much. So it'll let me if I turn the heavy wrecker off. It keeps doing these loads the last month or two as well. No mods, you have to just keep clicking R3 to refresh it. <laughs> I've not tried that, but looks pretty random. Scouts Max Pack. What is it voted on now? 73. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game, so we can give them a go. I think there's most of the new stuff. I've not tried that one, I wonder what that's like. 411 megabytes. They're going to take a bit long to download, they are. If it was like 100 or whatever, it probably only be about a minute or so wait, but 700 is going to be a good old while. I thought I'd already downloaded that. Yeah, they're all pretty uh, expensive in the old memory department. Well, let's go and give this a quick go and then. Uh, Have you tried the Rhino? Oh no, true, damn. Sorry, if I'd read that about a second earlier. <laughs> it's my fault as well because it's on the screen. Um, I've not, but I've downloaded the mod. We'll go and give this frog's truck thing a quick blast and then I might quickly nip back to the menu and turn that uh, Rhino on. Sounds a bit odd of a sentence to say. It's the long missions that are killing it for me. Yeah, to a degree, I know what you mean. Some of the massive ones on there, the Phase 2 thing, on like the Yukon maps, they kind of did it for me a little bit. I just sort of avoided them for the most part. I'll be back, life. That's where I think, um, for the most part, the Phase 3, like all the missions they had on there, I don't think there was anything that took ridiculously long. Building the paper factory and probably starting the power plant, they were kind of long missions but it wasn't too bad. They were about like, yeah, about as big as I'd sort of want to go really as far as missions are concerned. Anyone else experience in blurry screen? Do you mean on like my actual live stream or do you just mean when you play the game? find this thing. What the hell? Oh yeah. It's got a sort of max life. I'll try that one. An 8x8 max life. God damn. Spoiling me. Um, yeah, it reminds me actually. Uh, the modder JBE sent me some pictures of like a loaf on a, on Instagram. He sent them a little while ago but for some reason they weren't showing up. Um, but yeah, there's like uh, what is there? A uh, there's a six wheel loaf, a four wheel, but like a big off road bit like that sort of thing looking loaf, and then there's like a tank track loaf as well. Uh, well, I think we've got everything we need, haven't we? Bunch of loafs and that frog thing. Yeah, let's go and have a look at them. Oh, is that that frogs? Was it? Oh, so there must be a four-wheel drive version then. So it is just that again. Right, well, let's have a look at these then. That's more like it. It's definitely going to clear some barriers. Uh-oh. I mean... What one's the fastest? I don't really care other than that. It's pretty expensive. The absolute pinnacle of motorised vehicle propulsion. That's all I need to read. Sold. 
Oh, can we have a high range? Oh, yes. Low for the high range, finally. Everything is blurry for me, must need new glasses. Yeah, I'm not sure with that light, dude. See, look how happy he is, jumping around. To be honest, I quite like the look of it like that. Like that. I'll drive around like that. Perfectly reasonable ride height, if you ask me. Oh, low rider active. Why? What? I mean, you have something this insane, and then it's like, well, we've got to lock that. You can't go too, <laughs> can't go too crazy. Can't have too much fun. Well, for the most part, that all looks good. Let's be honest. He's got to have his mushroom snorkel though. Oh yes, he can have logs. I don't know if he can drag logs like the other one was. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that's his uh, yeah, saddle, and that was about time. Well, we need to know now. Oh, uh, don't need any of that. OG monster wave. See? Finally. Finally, some simulation gaming. At least. And some good brakes. Thing is, do I need the other back end of the trailer? Well, I'll take it. Just to be safe. If they exist, what do they do? logs are going to fit in like a glove. Again, get a bit of daylight. Oh, where are we? Oh yeah, I can still get long logs. Good. Steering all four wheels is a bit... a bit quick. <laughs> a bit snappy. <laughs> the CT300 pickup looks nice. What is that with this mod? I'm not going to go messing around with this for long because I'll be honest, I don't really like the steering. Keep wheeling for some reason. In fact, We're done. Now we can flip that way. Well, to be fair, I did go for like the <laughs> the most ridiculous one. I think the loaf does deserve like a saddle loaf though, even on the normal one. I mean I have technically delivered cargo with a loaf with a semi trailer without the saddle, but it means the legs on the trailer don't retract. Yeah, to be honest, the biggest thing I'd say straight away wrong with this is the uh apart from that that it seems to wheelie when we get to here. Don't really know why it doesn't do it when we leave the garage. Camera starts acting, yeah. I'm gonna probably call it a day on that one. I just wanted to see if we could uh, scrape the logs along. Nah. She's hard to keep on her feet, yeah. It was funny, but a little bit too awkward, to be honest, to actually do anything meaningful with. It's a shame. Oh no, wait, there was uh, like other less insane versions, weren't there? Alright, so just quick. Oh, fucking hell, man. Why'd you have to offer a million different engines? Mm. 
this in theory shouldn't be too different. Like the wheels aren't massive or anything, so. Uh, epic boss two one eight. Hello, Mr. Lone Wolf. How's it going, dude? Brian Brewer, epic. It looked good, but it, to be honest, it handled like an absolute piece of shit. So <laughs> I won't be uh, driving that version a lot. It's a shame the steering was just too twitchy. I don't really think it needs the rear steer either. But still, it was a good effort. Just saying, are we ever going to get to chained or? They say ice tires. Oh, sorry, they're already on them. So this is why normally I like to build mods. Some cat. All right, not there. I think we've got about everything, haven't we? Oh no, he needs his mushroom. Oh, not that one. No, it's got the steering as well. It probably won't be as bad because the tires aren't massive on this one. Give it a quick go. It's a little bit twitchy though, yeah, I don't think the, the whole rear steer thing needs to be a thing really. Especially with how quick, like, full lock to full lock happens. Digs in as well. Yeah, it's one of them. I can see like the funniness of this max pack thing. In reality though, it's not very not very kind of smoothed out and It's nice to see like that level of turning is just a bit too a bit too insane. Less insane. That's a real thing. That's what the voice has told me, and they don't lie about them kind of things. Accurate steering for a monster truck. It's accurate. I know what you mean, as in, like, they do have, like, rear steer on them, but they have the option of two-wheel steering. And, uh, yeah, with, with how, like, <laughs> hydraulically fast this is, it's, um... Probably not needed. To be fair, the loaf with those massive tyres, like it's a very short wheelbase. If it was like a big, if it was as long as that monstrosity thing, then it probably made more sense to have rear steer. Let's see how fast we can go down here, though. It's saying these tyres were like ice tyres, but I don't quite know myself. Maybe maybe a modder will make uh, MR a Mr. Lone Wolf. A Mr. Lone Loaf. <laughs> yeah, true. It would be pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. See again, just trying to correct it on the straight is like I can't put a small enough steering input in. Yeah, I'll fly off here and then we'll call it a day on these, because they're funny, they're just not refined at all. I said it before and I'll say it again. Fuck that post. It's not going autonomous. I did enjoy that jump at the end though. Right, let's have a quick look at this thing. No, because there must be a 4x4 version there. It'd be nice if you could just select on the menu, like, mods only. Which I believe they are doing. Uh, when phase 4 comes out. What kind of picture am I then looking for? So that's a six by six. The one. There's Max Tatter in that probably so quick look. Ugh. 
Looks pretty cool. I'd already say now, though, I'd rather the JBE Tatran any day, because that one's like... I'm going to assume that'll be a little bit erratic and... Yeah, it's not very polished, but it's a good start. I like the fact that they've, uh, yeah, give it a go. Certainly got the like the funny, cool sort of factor going with the uh, the eight wheelers and the stuff like that. I don't need too crazy high suspension. That'll do. you have so many mods. Again, it's just, it depends which ones you pick. Some don't take a lot of, like, RAM space or whatever, and other ones do. And stuff like, um, when I was just flicking through them, there's, like, the electric hybrid packs I've got turned on. They're good as well, by the way. They don't use, it appears to be hardly any RAM at all, because I've been able to turn those on with all the Fox mods and the JV mods. Um, yeah, but they've got like five or ten trucks in the pack, and then that Scout Max pack. I don't know how many that has in total, but probably quite a lot if we just found three versions of the loaf alone. So I've not got like 50 mods, it's just that I'm probably getting like 20 trucks. <laughs> Can we believe it? Nope. Alright, I'm just going for a jump, and then we'll go and do, do something meaningful <laughs> for the last bit of the stream. I need my jump though. Low glove, exactly. The loaf has definitely been awesome. I'd like to get a loaf in real life, to be honest. I'm, I'm sold on the idea. special on the go, that's the question. Just trying to do it by itself. Ram it in high, just thinking about it. Not really. And it sucked when it went there. Oh, that was just terrible. It'll probably land though. Quick snorkel test. Oh, it has got a snorkel on. Yep. <laughs> She's gonna drown. Does anyone know if the Berlias 100C or 100 coming to console. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. That's the one I'm interested in. Isn't that like a absolutely monstrous thing? I think the Max Truck Pack has around 20 trucks in it. Yeah, so that's probably why it was looking like I've got like, yeah, there's that one which is the electric ones. Which they're like, so yeah, it'll look like I've got a lot more than I have. That's just the, uh, yeah, then you've got like all these ones that I'd need to travel to uh, Russia to look at. Uh, right, what should we do? We'll go and do one last mission and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. Had a 58 VW bug with 36 horsepower. Loved it. <laughs> I must admit, I do like the old bugs from watching the Herbie films as a kid. would like to go and do a mission before we call it day. Do you know what as well though? I'm probably going to leave Alaska because we have been on there pretty much all night. What have we actually got going on in here? I don't think there is a lot left on these if I'm honest. Might be of all those little missions but I think login wise yeah I've pretty much done them all other than those fallen titans which is getting them sequoias which isn't really login in the conventional sense. This is the thing, I haven't really completed a lot on these, I just kind of... Uh, two lots, okay. We can look into that one. Is it going to let me? Yes. 
I might take the uh, the electric derry out since I hardly ever get to use the normal derry. Well, I can use it whenever I like. I just don't want to. <laughs> I think the only award the derry would win is most time spent gathering dust in the garage. The P12 is definitely pretty uh, pretty high up on that list though. Barely a mud runner truck. Uh, oh, was it from the mods back then? I wouldn't know. Like I said, I had it on console mud runner, so I didn't get any. Uh... Yeah, any of the. Why is that still at the top? Thinking VW microbus, North American version of a loaf. <laughs> True. That'd uh, definitely be pretty cool. Right, so we could take this one out. Still remember though, this one felt a little bit weaker than like all the other electric ones. So that's one for long logs, then we're gonna go and pick something else. I would again. Hmm. So I'm just gonna have a quick investigation on something. Of course you're not going to let me do it twice in a row. That'd just be too nice. What company makes the loaf in real life? Uh, is it, like, I think they're UAZ but I don't even know if that's like the name of the company. I think it is though. What's the lowest suspension I can get on this? So what I did have as well is uh, I assume a weighted. No, I'm sure it had a weight. I'm sure it said it in the uh, thing that it was weighted. I mean that is some serious roll cage though we're having it. If I'm towing it behind me, it shouldn't really matter whether it wheels or whatever it's doing. I need to know. I think in some way, we all need to know. Got some good brakes, I'll give it that. Why do you always... How does the game know to switch to the only truck I never fucking want? It is genuinely like, if you ask this game to pick the lottery numbers, it's cool that they've put a middle winch point on the front as well. See, it's little things like that where modders put more thought into their mods than the devs have into their own trucks. It's looking good. This could be the most epic logging mission we've ever done. Volkswagen created by that uh, infamous Austrian colonel. <laughs> Not sure it qualifies as North American. Yeah, I heard that, didn't... Well, I, apparently, was it like some Czech guy? Was it from Czechoslovakia or something that designed the Beetle? But then I did hear, like, Hitler basically stole it or something. It does sound like something he would do. Apparently uh, Hitler had a sister called Bridget Hitler, and when she was interviewed about him, I think they were asking about how he got his moustache, and because uh, there was a rumour that it was like he cut it narrow so he could still fit in his gas mask and everything and keep it air sealed, but then others said like as he copied Charlie Chaplin, and then she said something like, no, he just started trimming the edges, but as with most things, he went too far. He was like, god damn. <laughs> That's an understatement. Just a little bit too far. What thought the Volkswagen was made by Porsche? Um, I think to a degree they kind of 
I can't remember which way round it was, but I think Porsche kind of copied the Beetle or something. I mean, Porsche did kind of find the uh, the 911 style and just ran with it. I don't really blame them, to be honest. Where the hell am I going? I probably didn't need to go this way. No. don't really want to drive up there. I might just have to do a U-turn on this one. Jason, hello everyone, how's it going dude? Good to have you joining us. We've got an electric berry and a max loaf. Looking pretty good. Pretty good as a towing vehicle because the old uh, wheelie situation isn't really an issue. I've got this swampy bog's probably going to be there yet for the derry. It's funny, even in an electric form, it still has the classic derry feel to it. It's still there. Even the low side. Hurry up, man. If Porsche designed the Beetle. I'm not sure, I just know that they do kind of look similar. The 911 is kind of like the sports version <laughs> of the Beetle, in a way. But again, I do like 911s, particularly some of the old, uh, the classic ones. There was a guy as well that lived in this village I used to live in. Like I said, I lived in a council house, but for some reason they built it on the edge of this, like, incredibly rich little village, to be honest. So, they all hated us, automatically, but, um, yeah, there was a guy there who had a Porsche 959 which are ridiculously rare, and I hit it with a football hard as well. Like, kick the football really high in the air, and it hit the bonnet. And uh, I didn't know at the time, but yeah, later on found out that it was probably one of the rarest cars on the planet I could have hit with a football. And he had another Porsche, was it a 944 or a 928? But he had an owl that used to sit like in the, on the back parcel shelf or whatever. Uh, yeah, there was a log, and this owl used to just sit on the log, staring at you. Where the bloody hell am I going, really? Could help if I paid attention, but it's just... I don't know, I don't do well at that. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> what could go wrong? That loaf is absolutely... just... He's gagging to get some logs. Derry? What is the Derry doing? Like... There's some power, man. I don't know, that's a non-killable tree. How's that loaf? I haven't flipped by now, to be honest. Probably just cursed it, but... Yeah, it's funny, like, again with this... Derry, I don't know what it is, but and this guy's put a completely different engine in, gearbox. But even if I was blindfolded, I'd just know this is a Derry. couldn't go wrong. <laughs> that is true. It does usually end that way. Would you put the Derrys in your top five worst trucks in the game? Yeah, probably at number one, to be honest. In fact, definitely at number one, because it's also one of the most expensive and last um, last trucks you unlock, so it, uh, it was kind of putting it in a position where you're going to expect it to do well. Oh god, is it going to make me load them? Well, I can do that, and I will do. But first... First I want to see what it's like with the trailer. But I want to see if I can just drag the logs. That was 
pretty enjoyable, so it won't let me... Okay. Damn. crane on this one. A loaf is having a seizure. <laughs> it's definitely a... Uh, I mean it's funny and it's sort of cool but yeah the steering I would say so far feels like the sort of worst thing on it. I don't know if that's going to be close enough. We'll find out. Yeah the steering's just like not very practical at all. Some logs were placed unevenly. No, they're not. They're the most level logs I've ever seen in my life. I've seen a lot of them. Well, we'll worry about that one later. We'll get some in the dairy then. in that as well like so that rotates normally instead of like opposite that's one thing as well I doubt they will but I really really wish that they would uh make the grabber on that crane stronger because it's just crap. Log zone is blocked. God save game. Yeah, again with that um the loaf trailer of that situation. I'll test it out in my own time. It's, I don't know what's going to work and what's not. There might be a way to pack the logs. What I was going to try a minute ago was like drive somewhere to where the loaf's kind of slightly downhill. And then it might actually make the logs sit about level. It might just let me pack them then. But yeah, they started slipping out. Like, solid. I don't really like doing all that on them. And I honestly just do not like this crane.
wonder if this will get like fixed in phase four so it will actually just let you pack these logs sort of automatically. That'd be pretty nice. On these modded trucks, because it doesn't seem to be just one mod or whatever, it's like it seems to be across the board, it doesn't let you pack them. Set off there with this, and then we'll probably call it a day. Did you know that the log crane? I think I don't know for sure has been improved on PTS. Has oh, that? Yeah, the playable test server or whatever. It's good if it has. I've heard, like I said, they're gonna change it so it rotates the correct way in that. But it's just like the amount of times that a log can just fall out of it. Again, it, it's like an arcade claw machine. It feels like that where it's purposely just too weak. I don't really see why. It's the same with the cranes. It's like, if you're going to give us a crane, just make it a working crane. But they have to kind of make it only just working. Everything's like only just by the skin of its teeth. It's like the lowest they could make it. While still officially saying that they made it. Seems to have incredibly good grip on the logs now. Yeah, well, that's good. If that's the case, that's definitely that's what it needs to like. What I think, because like I said, I don't need the faffing around of like, oh, it's dropped the log because it couldn't hold it. It's like, well, in real life, if I owned this truck and that crane and that's what it was doing, that's like the very first thing I'd get back and be like, change that crane. It's shit, and I'm not using it again. Like, it can't do the job it was made to do. Then it's gone. And, uh, yeah, real life limitations are one thing. I mean, in this game, it's not like all they have to do is just crank up the strength. And I don't really see what the problem is. Who cares if it could grip a log ten times harder than it'd ever need to grip a log? It's not going to give us any advantage. It's just going to do what it's supposed to do. Is that the electric derry? Yeah. Thankfully. Although, as I was saying, even as far as all the electric trucks go, this still feels hampered and a bit slower compared to like all the other electric trucks that I've tried but it is definitely a vast improvement on the uh, the original just normal stock dairy it's snow runner not log runner true I, I actually I think out of anything I've enjoyed the logging sort of phase being added more than uh, more than most things it's a pretty good callback to mud runner but there's also a lot more trucks to try on, like... SnowRunner is a better game. It's better the way it works, like mission completion and all that. See what I mean now, though? The Derry is, like... The Electric Bruce, for example, would just absolutely be moting along here, no problem. It's going alright now, it's in high, but... It doesn't want to motor up them auto gears. Trent and Ayers, uh, hey Mr. Lone Wolf, I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> yeah, I am a bit, cheers man. Getting there anyway, it's uh, definitely better than I was a couple of days ago. But one of the biggest things was I couldn't sleep for like two days in a row. So I just constantly was like, almost falling asleep on the sofa. That's the worst thing with insomnia. <laughs> you feel absolutely tired, like you'd fall asleep in seconds, but you just don't. But yeah, so I was kind of like, it was the tiredness that messed me up probably the most. But I think it was like some kind of bug I had that was probably not helping. As in like that was probably what was keeping me awake a bit longer and stuff and it, yeah. Briefcase tacos. 
sound good. What about the uh, electric twins there? It's good and it feels good, but it doesn't feel as good as the twice twin stair to me, so I'd rather just use the twice twin stair. But yeah, in its own right, it is like, it is good. I've still got the electric twin stair in my garage and I will keep it, like it's certainly good enough to keep. But yeah, if given the choice, I would take the twice twin stair. I just like that better. It's sort of weighted better low down and sort of a few different things. Try the blue line dairy. Is uh, the blue. Oh yeah, I have. I think I have tried the blue line dairy, and it was again certainly a uh, an improvement on the normal one. But I still think it needed a bit more on top of that. I'll be interested. Apparently, that fox uh, rider, like the modder, he's done a derry and I think he's submitted it to them but they're just taking ages to approve it so hopefully because uh, like he's the same guy that did some twice twin steer in the iceberg both big trucks and he's he clearly knows how to get like a lot out of the big heavy trucks so yeah I'll be interested to see his version of the derry because I think it will actually sort of feel yeah up to up to scratch like it should do really where are we going? Quarry and drilling. Oh yeah, drilling site. Uh, let's go to the quarry. The only thing I don't like about the twice twin stair is the ungodly price of it. Uh, I've not even noticed to be honest, because I just I have like used glitch money basically. I would be paying attention to it if I hadn't. Using t uh, the Twice Twin and the Azov 7330 mods uh, to get the log and contracts done. Yeah, they're both very solid. That Azov 7330 is uh, pretty cool as well. I like that it's got a four slot kind of sideboard on it. The only shame is with that though, when you put that on, again, just while I'm talking, look first gear and it can't get out of first it's like it's definitely still kept its dairy characteristics and again this is an improvement on it no doubt like it's a nice mod overall so I'm not knocking the electric pack but yeah like I said it goes 1 to 600 kilowatt engines in the electric pack and this is I'll put the 600 in but it needs more something like a thousand from how it feels compared to the others, like Bruce has got the 600 in, that felt great. That was on there, uh, I tried that the other week on Zin the Gorse. There's a Bruce. How's it going, Bruce? Oh, what? Trying to steal me logs, you thieving bastard. You gotta watch them logs around Bruce. Uh, apparently, there are over 50 mods awaiting approval. The console, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? I don't mind the price of the twins there. Uh, able to afford it on my newer game. It's 200k or somewhere around there, about the same as some. Yeah, that's not too bad. I know what you mean, though. Like, obviously, uh, if you haven't got a lot of dough, I remember back at the beginning of the game when I bought the engine for the Navistar that was 24 odd grand. That was a, uh, yeah, a bit of an expensive beast. But yeah, these days just using the glitch money. And I have heard they might have patched that glitch with the money where you kind of equip and sell an engine at the same time. So, yeah, stock up on some money now before they release the patch just in case. I've done it a bit. I've got about six and a half million, so that should tide me over for the last phase. I've got a lot of trucks and stuff lying around, if not, that I'll have to sell. Or I'll have to earn it the old fashioned way. Electric, don't have gearboxes in real life. Yeah, true. I assume within the mechanics of this game it is just easier to stick a gearbox on. But yeah. Uh, my trucks are all slowing down today, tyres shaking, and finally wouldn't move. A reboot. 
cured the issues on Xbox One. I mean, I've never heard of that happening before, but every now and then I do get some weird... I had a... my game crashed the other day and I was only on my first playthrough where I've got no mods on. And um, not only did it crash, but it corrupted the file and then when it was restoring the save file, it took a little while. It kind of froze on 20% or something and I was thinking, oh no, here we go. It's uh. I might end up losing my playthrough, fortunately. It did restore it all in the end, but yeah, I don't normally get that happen. Especially on my first playthrough, with no mods. I have over 25 million, so I know where is here. <laughs> You're definitely set. It's funny with the money in this game, it's kind of like hard to come by for a while, and then just as I started having enough money to where it's like it didn't matter, then I heard about the glitch and I tried that and it was like, uh, sorted. A bit like the end of Grand Theft Auto 5, I started playing the stock market, doing the Leicester assassination missions and got, yeah, like 10, 15 billion per character. And it suddenly goes from trying to save for that golf, for that golf course thing to just, yeah. So much money, the game can't handle it. I think the most you can hold is like 2.7 billion. So I have to keep transferring it over in like two and a half billion lumps into new shares. So I've got two odd billion per character and then another ten or fifteen billion per character in various shares that I've had to leave in shares. If only it was that easy in real life. Although I've got a little bit of a, what's it called? If anyone does the, any cryptocurrencies. I've got one called Safe Moon. That's shot up quite a lot in the last few days. I only had about 50 quid's worth though. But now it's on over a hundred, so happy days. Hey, you should do a co-op stream with UK Gamer. True, the only thing is I'm up in the middle of the night. And if he's UK Gamer, he's going to be up kind of opposite times to me. Oh, don't do it, not now. Not after all we've been through. I'm turning out of it. That's right, game. You can get me like that. I'll just reverse it down if I have to. Oh, no. Alright, we're going to <laughs> we're gonna have to risk it. This could be where it all goes wrong. If only I had a loaf with me. better truck. <laughs> Too much to ask. I duped a ton of trucks and co-op to get extra money. Oh yeah, I heard about I remember that glitch. I've never tried it myself, but uh, yeah, there was quite a few people making videos on that back in the day, which again, it works. Take advantage of it. I did plenty of grinding. Like I I was grinding for all my money and I owned almost every vehicle in the game and that was about then when I, uh, I heard of the glitch but yeah I did like 300 goes on the container delivery contest thing in Drown Lands to grind for money so it was to the point to be honest where if I kept grinding much more it'd almost drain a bit of my enjoyment of the game so it's kind of like at that point I'd rather just yeah glitch a bit of money and then when it comes to making videos I can just buy another truck I don't have to faff around for an hour before I even start making a video just to like save up the money to buy another truck so I can review it and so on that's what it's like back in the day when I was doing the reviews for all the, the sort of in-game trucks is there a log station on there? medium bastard is there any other log stations? nope stay here but what else we got in the old storage 
I say I might make a video pretty soon on some of them loafs, etc. I just uh, I'll have a little play around with them in my own time and kind of work out what's what's what. Nice save on that one. <laughs> Cheers, man. It got a bit. To be honest, I just kind of thought in the end, sod it. <laughs> I'll just reverse it and ram it backwards, and what will be will be. Unfortunately, uh, went pretty well. I wonder if I can get logs on this now, or if it's just still not going to let me. I don't really want to risk it. Can't remember if I turned that. Um, so free the logs and all that on. Is that the? I oh know twice twin stone. I think a lot of the oh that has got the long lock thing on. Could give that a go then. Oh, oh my god, what am I doing? Thought was the only one that couldn't get the money glitch to work. Anyone else get it to work? I'm also on PS4. Um So what are you saying? You can't get it to work then. I tend to find if you kind of press X a tiny bit before square, that seems to help. But the tiniest little bit before. But yeah, I'm on PS4 as well, so it should uh, should work out safe. Uh, I'll probably make this the last mission. We'll go and fly, get some long logs, deliver them, get it done, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day. Hopefully by next week the uh, phase four is out, and I'll get some of that on the go. When was the last time you did the money glitch? Uh, the other day, basically, like literally yesterday or the day before. In fact, I'll go and do it now, and I'll show you. Uh, yeah, we'll bring him. May as well have that. Right, I'll just keep him there. I'll go and find heavy. I think that's where the Navistar is. Well, in fact, I'll go and find a club. Yeah, because then everyone just has a club. So get a club. Go to the. Oh, fuck! It's locked. All right. Well. You can honestly do this on the club, but I'm going to have to show you with the Navistar, because I've not gone and really gone for any of the upgrades on this playthrough. Like I said, because it's mods, I don't really need them most of the time anyway. Right, so yeah, I'm just going to have to do it with the Navistar, because I know I've got both of those engines unlocked. So, equip the stock engine, so you own the best engine, but it's not equipped. And then press square and X at the same time. And then, as you can see, it's saying sell it for 24,400. But if you look at like the left-hand side, it's also just equipped the engine as well. So sell it, there's 24 grand, and then, yeah, just repeat. But I tend to, if you press them like at the same time, it is pretty much at the same time, but I just feel like... I apply pressure to the X just before the square. I basically use my thumb to press them both at the same time. But I do just feel like I get the X in there a bit quicker. But yeah, just doing that, literally every few seconds I'm getting another 24 grand. You can probably see my money at the side counting up. So that's how quick, I mean, I just did, what, 10 or 15 goes there. So that was like 250, 300 grand. So, not bad, like, you'll make your money pretty bloody quick. Funny enough, a while ago, though, when I made that video, what was it? There was some kind of money glitch, and I did a video on it, and that same day I got a, um... Some kind of warning from Sony on my PlayStation, some notification, saying, like, I broke some kind of guidelines. I'm not sure if it was for that glitch video, but it was the day I did that glitch video, so I kind of haven't really made a standalone video of that glitch or a variation of it since. Which is why I just kind of tend to slip it in. <laughs> slip it into a live stream or something. Which I think that's ridiculous if that's the case. Like, a bug's a bug. But 
but it wouldn't surprise me with a Sony these days. They are turning into more like a, the Chinese Communist Party or something. I was just curious if there was better ways. I don't know of any, like unless if anyone knows of a way to duplicate something that's more expensive than that engine, but for me I reckon that's pretty quick. Like it, it probably what took two, three seconds max per go, so it's certainly enough to wear like I mean you're gonna earn lots of dairy fully upgraded as two hundred odd grand, so you're gonna get that in about 20 seconds. So in that sense, sit there and do it for five minutes. You're probably going to unlock a good few million and that should see you through really for the rest of the game, certainly like the rest of the phase and everything, uh, this last phase coming out. Uh, thanks Mr. Lone Wolf, I will try it again, was probably doing something wrong. No worries dude, hopefully it uh, works for you. Let us know in the comments afterwards or something if, you, if you're having trouble with it. but. Because I tended to find when I moved my thumb kind of up the remote a bit more to try and actually hit them at the same time, I was having less success, but when I just left my thumb where it was, like I normally hold the remote, yeah, and press the buttons at the same time, it seemed to work more, but I would say my, uh, kind of the first knuckle bit of my thumb feels like it's hitting the X button a tiny little bit faster. I think that was what was kind of making the difference. I was trying to get them absolutely dead on at the same time, and I don't think I needed to. We were talking about the Super Tega mod with a 10,000 winch price. Oh, is that? Oh, sorry, 100,000 winch price. Yeah, true. That in that case, that would be uh, quicker. But I remember though with something that had a glitched winch that caused a lot of trouble for some people. So I'm not saying avoid it. I'm just saying. It might even be on a different mod, but there was something a little while back that it was a glitched winch and it was paying people money, but then when they sold the truck or sold the winch or something, it took the money back off them and left them in the minus. So, personally, I'm a little bit wary of, like, doing something like that, but again, I'm not trying to put people off it, I'm just sort of giving you the heads up so you know then from that like make your own decision if you want to risk it or not. I do the thing where I uh, kind of quit the game and reload it to kind of jump back in time a little bit if I've just crashed or something. Some people have said that's made their game crash and stuff. Personally I've done it hundreds of times and it's never, touch wood, never deleted my uh, playthrough or anything like that. videos showing how you make your videos. I enjoy seeing that. I've thought about it to be honest. It take it'd probably be a longer video than you'd think. It does it takes longer than you think to edit. That's one of the biggest things when and I appreciate I'm like an amateur at it and etc. So I'm not gonna be as quick as like people who are good on computers and all the rest of it, but yeah. There's sort of you get the footage and then if I'm gonna make like a half an hour video I'll probably end up gotten like two to three hours of footage though. And then you gotta kinda of go through all that, chop it all up, and then go through for like another little I don't know, a second pass over to get it all even more neatened up and nip the edges off and all the rest of it. And then you gotta sort of voice it, then listen through it, then render it, then upload it. But yeah, maybe I could do something like that at some point. It's uh, sort of show you how to use what's it called, Share Factory on the PlayStation. See, suspension takes a lot of damage. There's a few of them like that. Not sure which truck you meant, but <laughs> I've got a few in mind. The fix that with a patch. Uh, yes, that was the modded Freightliner 114. I was the victim of that issue, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's not good. Fortunately, I kind of got onto the game pretty late sort of that night and everything and by then people uh, thankfully let me know in the comments that there was sort of bugs happening and stuff. Thankfully thankfully they addressed that issue quickly. Yeah, that's good. I, did, I remember it was like a bit of a, there was a lot of people in the comments saying like, I've just lost my gameplay. Because then I think, was that the guy who then said something, he put in the description like, I did it on purpose and it's, I think he was just 
trying to joke, but the thing is when you read a joke via text, it's a lot more open to interpretation. And a lot of people, I didn't really take it as a joke. And it was just one of them. It's like, dude, you're really not helping yourself. You've just potentially lost thousands of people. Hundreds, if not thousands of hours of gameplay. Like, now is not the time to make a sarcastic joke about it. The minus money. Yeah, that's what you don't want to see. Low Toad 84. Howdy, Mr. Lone Wolf. How's it going, dude? Good to have you joining us. We are not too far off the end of the stream, but still, it's good to see you joining. Oh, you're feeling better? Yeah, man, I'm getting there. Bit of low faction, that's all I needed. It's a shame that one can't hold logs. Well, again, it might be able to. Like I said, in my own time, I'll, uh, I'll play around with it a bit more and we'll see. Is it, no? Well, now I am going to steal the low logs. Like I said, I wish they'd get the automatic situation sorted, because if I could help it in a live stream, I wouldn't really... I'd rather not have to manually load stuff, but... See, this is what I mean. I don't like the crane. Just hold the log horizontal. That's all you need to do, crane. That's it. Hold the log horizontal and rotate. And it does both of those things terribly. Even when you're like practically millimetre perfect dead centre in the log, it's just, yeah, definitely not a fan of it. Best crane, pound for pound so to speak, it appears to be. See, now it won't let me rotate the log anymore, it's just this game sometimes. Man. Like, just in terms of the, did anyone, <laughs> has anyone who designed this crane actually tried it and gone, Jesus Christ. That shit, let's fix it. Well, I'm gonna guess not. That was a Tager mod that stole all your money. Yeah, true, I did. I. Now you mention it, I thought it was a Tager as well. But I don't know, because I didn't really uh, download it or anything in the end. See, now we're gonna go horizontal log. Now the crane arm will be too weak, and we'll probably drop it in a minute. I'm not held on that one, I'm amazed. glitched into the trailer, but I could not pull that anyway. I've never had any issues with the Super Tager Mod Winch glitch. I think people didn't have issues at the time. It was when they equipped the winches to other trucks and sold them or something like that. So some people didn't have it happen for weeks and then they'd go and sell a truck. And then suddenly they're in the minus. And they couldn't buy anything to kind of get more glitch money or something like that. See, little things like this, if I was in charge of the game, I would just, the logs are on, load them. 
whether they're sticking two inches too far out the front or whatever isn't really beneficial to my gameplay <laughs> enjoyment either way. I really couldn't care less. Sorry, the one I use is a different mod, not the same one that broke people's games. Yeah, to be honest, I've kind of lost track of, by now, all the different mods I've had. I remember it, like, something breaking people's uh, games. But I think there's been more than one, kind of over the course of it all, that have uh, caused people a few issues. daylight again. Still waiting for that permanent sunny day mod. <laughs> Tommy Madsen, hello Lomo, how's it going? Good to have you joining us, we're near the end of the stream but nonetheless. Still got a good old journey today with a horse and this thing. What's it, Long John? Long John slash Juicy Bruce. Considering that's a steeper hill and it's towing a loaf, that was still going up the gears more than the, uh, the electric ferry or anything, was it? Uh, if they fix the crane and trailers, it will ruin the purity of the game. <laughs> In some ways, I know what you mean. There's certain things like I would like the, uh, the logging crane just to, yeah, do two things. Hold the log horizontally and load it and, yeah, have the pincer arms remain attached. But I know what you mean. There is a certain personality that comes with a game when you have uh, certain issues going on. As long as they're not particularly game-breaking or anything, I don't really mind them for the most part. I can live with the logging cranes, but again, in situations like this, live streaming, that's when it kind of... I feel very, uh, I don't know, aware that a lot of people are watching and it's just wasting their time while I'm trying to load the bloody log, which neither of us are really here to watch. So. Those sort of moments, I'd rather just go, uh, yeah, put them out if I could. That modern modder got banned immediately. Yeah, what was his name? I can't remember, but either way, it was like... If that's the same modder that said he did it on purpose, which again, I believe was a joke, but just a very poorly timed one, um, yeah, even if they let him carry on making mods, I think he'd kind of blown his reputation out of the water to where a lot of people wouldn't even trust a mod with his name on it, which is a shame in a way, because it may well be he just made an error and it did what it did, but the way he handled it didn't really help. So, is this PS4 Pro? Yeah, it is. I'm not sure what difference that makes, but if it does, yeah. J War Frog. Oh yeah, Frog got banned. Frog got banned, was it? Yeah, because of uh, putting the Confederate flag on top of the, uh, the Dukes of Hazard flag. Which, personally, I think is a little bit over the top. They're going to ban flags based on historical uh, things. There's quite a lot of countries you could add to that list. who had that like super witch glint glitch thing where it was paying people and then it went minus. 
I'm not sure if he did actually get banned or he just stopped making any because I'm going to guess he received quite a lot of backlash after that happened. But yeah, I heard Frog has definitely been removed and I'm assuming he is because that Frog's truck we were looking at earlier, like I said, it's been added by uh, that invalid redneck or whatever. Or invalid. <laughs> invalid. Same thing really. Invalid redneck. <laughs> I think that's felt the same. Yeah, yeah so he, I'm assuming, is definitely gone for good. Which, like I said, is a bit over the top. But at the same time, just for the sake of not causing hassle for himself, it probably would have been wise not to add the flag. But I don't know, maybe that was his personal personal little stand against the uh, politically correct bollocks that goes on these days. So if that's the case, I respect it. majority of people. The uh, Duke's Hazard car is just, yeah, it is what it is. I think what most people, I think, these days associate that f the Confederate flag with the Duke's of Hazard. So I don't think it's the end of the world, but we're in crazy times. I quite like this view to be honest though. I've said it before, I'd kind of like in a way to just keep it like that at some point and just... Um, yeah, it's quite cool you can like say see all the sort of brake pubs and everything, all the axles, the diffs. Close trying to race me. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Face full of them logs. The load took it like a boss, that I'll give them that. In the daylight. It just does not last long these days. I'm sure it used to last a bit longer. Like that was a wishful thing, didn't but... roughly where it is, but why do I want to turn off? Maybe we'll try and bring it through that way. Yeah, overall this truck is uh, pretty good. And I have to say, I do like it. I've got a couple of these trucks. A couple of these, a couple of the icebergs, a couple of the twice twin stairs. Uh, I've got some of the electric ones. I've not got many or any of the uh, the electric scouts, so I don't tend to use scouts as much, but I think I've used all the trucks. But yeah, this is just... It's balanced pretty nicely, this. I definitely wouldn't say this feels overpowered. Just feels pretty, yeah, comfortable. It certainly feels quite powerful enough. That poor loaf is getting dragged around like a toddler at the mall with his mum. <laughs> he likes it. Mr. Wrinkly, hi from Oz. How's it going, dude? Yeah, I assume it's like the middle of the day in Australia. Times are here, just on five, about five past five. Perfect time for a bit of snow run up for me. Oh shit. It's good I only remember now, but yeah, I'm going to the uh, drilling site, not the quarry. I'm rallying through here then. It's funny, sometimes it's better to cut through here than there, like the normal path. I'm going to get to kill a tree. Double, go for the triple, and get us a post. <laughs> one day, something will knock one of them over. 
Hybrid Custom is a great version of the CLT 9 pack. Yeah, true, I've got that in my garage. That is a, feels a lot better. That is now a completely usable truck. Particularly with stuff like that Ford clip thing, it's, uh, it's nice to, because they've been pretty unusable in the vanilla game, like as much as I'd like a modded version, say of the Dolphin and stuff, Dolphin's already capable enough as is, so it's nice to get some of the mods for trucks that uh, have been pretty useless up until now, and yeah, that Ford is a, a good example, and it, it did feel pretty good in the electric version. Thirty-three in odds. Yeah, pretty much slap bang in the afternoon. Though. Tree lives matter. <laughs> Not only they don't. They said one day, bold maps. Bold maps for everyone. I mean, look at it. It's growing in my path. Anyway, it's never good when you get your wood stuck. I'm in a bush. two ways. Something's going to explode. Or it's going to go well. Or nothing. Hey up, hey up. That's right. Get my load back. Oh, why? Doesn't look happy about it, but it's not my problem. Young, uh, 2 p.m. here in bed. I was going to say, it's like the fact that you're sort of something and a half hours ahead. I don't really hear that too often. It's usually like a full hour, but I know there is places where it's a little bit different. But yeah, I would have guessed it would be like 2 p.m. or something. 2 p.m. So you must only be nine hours ahead of me at the minute then. Because normally, well, again, I suppose it depends which part of Australia. But I know sort of Melbourne kind of area is uh, between 9 and 11 hours ahead of me, depending on like, what time of year it is. Isn't it? Am I really that hooked on that car? What am I hooked on? I'm, it's not on the car. Is there a bloody tree stump? There is. A fat meaty beef, so I don't even see it. to Jeremy Clarkson power on the way out of there. Oh, we're a bit damaged. Hang on a sec. So is the horse. He's good though. Oh no. <laughs> now that thing's driving on its own. I've got to try and catch it. Let's hit a tree. It's all good. Enough. I'll be there in a minute, not sir. Cat's eyeball, isn't it? I wish the repair distance would be a little bit bigger. Because sometimes you can be parked behind a truck and it won't let you repair it because it must go from the actual engine. Oh, I should have probably paid a bit more attention to what order I was fixing them in. I probably could have got them all fixed. Oh well, job done.
Yeah, I've noticed that glitch recently. Like when I attached the winch from the loaf to this truck and then detached it, it just started driving by itself. It's been happening to me quite a few times recently. Is it going to not let me have the, uh, the front winch? Tosser of a game. That's another thing. It's the way the game decides which winch points you can see. Just let me see them all. Is that, yeah, America? Yeah, the USA. Uh, West Coast. Oh, so that, yeah, like California sort of side. I'm from Denmark. 6.09. So, yeah, you're like an hour ahead of me then. Pretty crazy, like in the future. You are living life in an hour in front of me. And yet we're both watching the same truck drive along. Some serious witchcraft stuff there. 4pm in New Zealand. There's quite a big time difference though in certain places, isn't there, from New Zealand to Australia. I know, to be fair, Australia is pretty massive for like... For a country with only 30 odd million or whatever it is you've got there. Shortcut for the win. We're done. Well, I might quickly try and drive back just so that's the trailer. From winter. Yeah, this will be the last mission for this live stream. Didn't go too badly. Shame I couldn't get logs on that max loop thing, but again, I'll play around with that a bit. 9,000. It's not that much. For one of these new missions, anyway. Twelve twelve AM on the east coast. Yeah, so you're like three hours ahead of them on the west coast. Mind if I do. See, I knew that I've made these into free range trailers for a reason. One of them. One of them's lying down. And the time of its life. Chilling with his mate, the ANK. And now I can raid it for supplies. Daylight, a rough plan of my route, I'm going to go that way. Yeah. That's all the information I need. That'll do, I know where I am from there. Drop the hammer, and then we'll call it a day. Slow move. Is this the end of your day, or is it just the beginning? Uh, due to sleeping pattern recently, probably nearer the beginning. Normally it'd be kind of midway through my day. I need to raid the lake for some fuel in a minute. Um, yeah, but I did end up sort of waking up around like midnight equivalent, so I was only up a few hours before this. But I only got sleep at like probably, I don't know, 7, 8 at night, so. Not a lot of hours sleep. More hours trying to sleep than sleep. <laughs> it's usually the way it goes. Let's see if I can get back on the fuel I've got. I've seen somebody in one of the comments has said they don't see a use for a loaf. What? You shut your whole mouth. There's every use for a loaf. 
but yeah, in a video where the loaf saved me like three times on video. <laughs> kind of like that. It's a bit of an odd statement to make, but fair enough. I think the loaf has proved he's got that professional on me, let him go. Not holding me up. He's just doing his thing. needs an autonomous winch option. Yeah, true, it'd be a nice a nice option, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda get some ways why there isn't an autonomous winch option for trucks, but at the same time it's kinda like I don't know. Can't they just give us the option and then we can decide if we want to use it or not? Kind of self-imposed harder mode if you uh, don't want to use it and so on. close for the fuel it's going to start spluttering any minute. Well, some trucks let you go down to about 4 or 5 litres before they splutter, other ones, of which this might be one. I mean, I've still got 7 litres. All I want to do is get close enough to Bruce. <laughs> so I don't have to... Uh, See what I mean? Like, how it always changes to the truck you don't want. It's scary how well it can predict it. Is it going to reach? Roof rack, nasal. Yes. See? And they said the loaf has no uses. Would have been up shit creek without a paddle if we didn't have it. Oh well, he's going to have to have the side winch for now. Get out way, Bruce. Tried to steal my logs. Price man, what is he like? The, the bridge troll? This is Gandalf. We shall not pass. We'll find our will. Just very awkwardly. And I'll do it. know if anyone's interested. Low miles. Fuck it, we'll bring this as well. I'll throw in a, a, uh, a white western star. And uh, yeah, well, we'll call it about there for the day. It was a pretty uh, well, reasonably successful mission. To be honest, I was going to spend most of tonight just messing around you know, anyway, because like I said, I've done most of the missions for phase three. Just kind of waiting on phase four, really. Wanted to check a few mods out, and yeah, it didn't I didn't really want to go through those mods and check them out live because it's like I didn't know whether it was going to be good, bad, or otherwise. We had a little look at those max loafs, which yeah, I'll look into more. I'll see uh, what use I can get out of them. Oh no, 
Marshall. I've not seen that for ages. Forgot I even had one. Oh crap. Now I've just travelled to Black River. Perfect condition vehicles, exactly. A Minter is what they would call it. Or a brand newie. Well, I don't know what I'm doing now. We're pretty much done. I thought I was on this map. I was just going to have a quick look at my uh, Khan Marshall. And then I didn't realise it was going to load up a different... Why did it offer me Black River then? If I was on Smithville. That's weird. Thanks for the stream. Going to play now. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's joined me for the stream. It's, uh, yeah. Been another good one. Good talking to you. Oh, yeah. I remember leaving that. I got the watchtower and then abandoned it. It's another free range truck. It's a good view, though. That's why I abandoned it here. Um, yeah, like I say, I'll be back uh, pretty soon with... I'll probably will recover this now, to be honest. Um, I'll probably do some videos on them, like those Max Scout packs, if I can get any use out of them. I might check out that Moose thing as well, or whatever. And uh, it generally, though, it'll just be like kind of doing a few little messing around missions or whatever until we get a uh, Phase 4. But yeah, thanks everyone for joining us for tonight. Look after yourselves, enjoy your day, night, whatever time, time, whatever time zone you're in. And uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Thanks for the stream, going to play now, yeah, good luck, cheers man. Dean Young, glad to, glad you are on the mend, thanks for the live stream, see you next week. I appreciate it man, see you later everyone. Mark Rowe, see you later dude.